This video shows the campaign against the household and water tax march to the Dáil in July of 2012. The uh, march took place at 5 o'clock on a Wednesday in the last week of the Dáil sitting and just after the government had sent out a new round of threatening letters demanding people pay this hated tax. Something over 50% of households in Ireland have so, are still refusing to actually pay the household tax and the government is increasingly getting desperate uh, to follow this and to try and impose it on people, something it's required to do under the IMF uh, conditions that are being imposed on Ireland. Of course, it's of the utmost importance that the campaign against the household and water taxes wins, but the way that we win is equally important. This second statement may not appear immediately obvious. Surely, one might object winning the campaign is the most important thing and the way that we do it is secondary. Not necessarily so. We have to understand the big picture of our full situation. The campaign against the household and water tax is part of a wider struggle around austerity in the context of a European and global political and economic crisis. The politics of crisis require building a more powerful movement than the politics of representation can create. During periods of growth or even stagnation, the election of representatives like a Tony Gregory or a Jackie Healy Ray, or even a Joe Higgins, Claire Daly or Richard Boyd Barrett to go to the door and fight for a bigger slice of the pie for the constituents works up to a point. But in a situation of crisis, such as the one where we are in, when the pie factory has been shut down, relying on finding a champion to fight on your behalf no longer works. In a situation where the Troper and Irish bosses are united in a project of trying to extract thousands of euros from every household in the Republic to pay the gambling debts of European banks, only mass civil disobedience, non-payment, can stop them in their tracks. Mass non-payment is not something we can get a representative to do on our behalf. It needs us to take action directly in, in disobeying the state. We can only exercise our fundamental democratic right to rebel against an unjust and parasitic authority on our own account. This is why when we say this campaign needs to be directly democratic and based on mass participation, it is not just a question of political ethics, but of pragmatics. Most people have not had the experience of engaging in political activity on their own behalf before, and many may lack the confidence to do so. That is why the campaign must use direct democratic and participative methods to allow the maximum number of people to learn the necessary skills and gain the necessary confidence to stand up to the state, the agent of austerity. Most politics is based on representative democracy, where somebody is elected to represent an area and makes the decisions that she he thinks are best for the area. In reality, however, that politician usually ends up making decisions based on her polit political views rather than on the views of the people, and the rest of us have very little or no input into decisions. What ultimately happens in representative democracies, as we've seen again and again in Ireland and elsewhere, is that people are elected to government on one platform, but what they call political or economic reality leads them to implement a completely different set of policies. These political or economic realities are usually dictated by the powers that be, the financial markets, those that have economic muscle in society. Nobody really believes that in a representative democracy all views are equal. That is why we need a different type of democratic structure on which to build our campaign. We need a structure which does value all views equally and which ensures that all members of the campaign are enabled and supported in having input into the decision-making structures of the campaign. That is what we mean when we refer to direct democracy and participative methods. The central tactic of our campaign is non-payment. That immediately involves everyone in direct participation. Nobody can not pay on your behalf. That direct participation needs to be backed up by allowing maximum direct participation in the decision-making structures of the campaign at both local and national levels. The text we've used with this video is from a WSM leaflet uh, distributed at the National Household Tax Conference. You can find more material on the household tax at www.wsm.ie slash household-tax. Thanks for listening to the video and listening to our commentary on it.